Uh, we're coming back from Tallahassee. Uh, we were both at the inaugural. What did you think of Rick's speech and his uh, swearing in? I like the fact that the politicians run one way and also govern the same way. His speech was very, very representative of his campaign, talking about reducing the liabilities of Florida. That means, as he put it, the axis of unemployment. He talked about reducing them with lawsuits, making sure we do not raise taxes, and the idea that we reduce regulations. And, of course, the Senate President, along with Dean Kemp, the Speaker of the House, were very much in line with the speech. In fact, everywhere we sitting next to each other uh, during the speech right behind the governor, and we're high-fiving some of his ideas. Where he was very aggressive about what he wants to do. He's going to have two partners in the House and the Senate, Dean Kemp. Now, uh, again, we're going to D.C. Uh, we're both invited to Marco Rubio's uh, swearing in. You played a big part in his in his uh, election. Uh, you want to comment on Marco? I'm excited for him. Uh, he and his wife, Jeanette, have just been amazing. It just shows that anything's possible still in politics. Uh, two years ago, if you had told me that Marco Rubio, U.S. Senator, easily defeating Charlie Crist, a lot of people might be crazy. But I think it just tells when you work hard, you have a message, things work out just well. I think inaugurals are fantastic with Rick Scott and now with Marco. And he talks about the orderly transition of power in America. Uh, we're moving from moderate to a conservative, and not just as governor, but also, of course, as U.S. Senator. And it's very exciting. Now, a uh, big fight coming up in uh, legal immigration. Uh, we already proposed a bill. Now, you mentioned yesterday to me that uh, something's coming up regarding the immigration bill. What, what's that? Well, I think immigration is a very important issue, and a lot of people are very concerned about it on both fronts. And I, I'm a person who likes to have the fact make uh, better decisions as opposed to a lot of opinion and emotion. And so starting on Monday the 10th of January, we'll be starting hearings in the Florida Senate. We're going to have three two-hour meetings where people across Florida can come and testify so we can create a bill based on fact and testimony as opposed to some of the hyperbole we've heard before. Anna Tara Flores from Miami is going to lead those meetings, our judiciary chair. I'm very uh, positive that we can come from this. But what should come from it is that it's an immigration reform that reflects Again, what's really taking place. I think immigration has become so emotional. People don't know what the real facts are. After three two-hour meetings we start on Monday, I think we'll be able to create a bill. We're not going to have any bill on the table until we've heard all these facts because it's too important to, for the politicians to write the bills and they say directly to So you're going to have both sides. So both sides are going to actually give you their two cents on what they feel about the immigration, both the pro-amnesty and the, and the pro-legal immigration lobbies. Exactly. And, and I think there's more than two sides of this one. There's a lot of different angles. And I think more than anything else, we want to make sure that since Washington, D.C. has clearly dropped the ball, that we're going to take up what needs to be done. We need to first and foremost enforce the law and then make sure we go from there. A lot of issues like E-Verify, you name it, is on the table. But that's what makes us, I think, unique is, as Floridians, is that instead of just kind of putting things under the rug, we're going to take them on head on and let the facts carry the day. Now here we're flying over, I would imagine, Virginia. Virginia's for lovers. I know you came up here with your, your better half. A little mini vacation? <laughs> I wish, I wish. Um, you know, I always travel a lot happier when I'm home with my wife. We had a great time with the inaugural. She was, in my opinion, the star of the show. She looked fantastic. And we just had a super time seeing a lot of friends. The parade was a lot of 